With a new update for Adobe Captivate 7, we decided to bring to you the most awaited and asked for enhancement in advanced actions. And that is the ability to copy actions, shared actions and advanced actions from one project to another when you copy those objects or slides between projects. So today, let's see how you can do that. Here's a course where I have a an action assigned to this button, I have applied some effects. So let me just show you the action here. You can see that I've applied some effect to this image where you can see that there is some zigzag happening uh, with this image. Now in the past, if you would have copied this uh, button and this object in a new project, you would have been disappointed that the action is lost, but not anymore. Any button that has a dependent action that can be easily copied if you copy both the objects and paste it in the new project. It will work as intended. So you, you can see that when you click this button, you can see that the effect uh, is also copied along with that. But one thing that you have to take care of is you don't have to copy just the button. You have to copy the dependent object as well. Once you do that, it will work beautifully. Let's test it out. I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard and this is how it looks. So I click it and you can see that the effect works beautifully here. So this was about simple action. What about advanced actions? I can go to this project and I have the screen here. You can see that I have created a pop-up screen. So let me just hide this. You can see that this is the screen and when you click here, you get to see the pop-up. Okay, so um, if and if you see the advanced actions, there are just two simple actions here. Hide light box where I'm hiding the light box group and show light box where I'm showing the light box group. Okay, so I'll close this. Now if I copy all the objects uh, from the slide, so I'll just uh, do a control A and control C and paste it in a new project, you can see that this will also start functioning as intended and the advanced actions uh, that I had created over there are also copied along with it. So uh, it's super simple and it doesn't stop there. You can also copy the shared actions associated with uh, the objects when you copy the slide or object. So here you can see that uh, for these buttons, what I've done is I have executed a shared action and I've set the parameters for it for each one of these and there's just one shared action so if you look at the library there are this this just one shared action which has been used five times in these buttons okay so what i will do is this time i will copy the slide go to the new project and paste it here so uh, this is appearing here now the background doesn't uh, look all that great so let me change uh, the layout here uh, maybe we'll go with the ipad theme and now you can see it clearly. So uh, now let's see if this is working correctly. Let's go and check in the library if we have this uh, action. It is there and the count is five. Let's test it out and see if it's working properly as well. So we will just say preview from this slide and let's see it in action. So I click this button. I see the related text and image and there's some effect added to the text. So you can easily see uh, that it has been carried uh, to this particular project as well. I hope you like this feature and you'll be using it extensively in your Captivate courses. Happy Captivating!